This is Matt from the Dice of the Round Table. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you know about future content. Today we're going to be talking about Victory at Seas. And I'm going to go over the special rules for some nations. I did get a demo kit. Um, so I'm just sharing out what I can from the demo kit. So um, here's the page for the British. Um, you get a spotlight battleship, some information about aircraft, and then some fluff, and then some special rules. So their battleship, the Queen Elizabeth, is 375 points. It is a very cheap battleship um, because the American one that's listed in this book is the New Mexico is 400 points. This one has 73 health. 5 plus armor, 5 plus flank speed, so good chance that a lot of things will be able to get a hit on it. For aircraft, we have the Fairy Swordfish 1, 1936, bomber or torpedo bomber. Um, up to this point, looking through them, because it's U.S., Japanese, then British. British are the first ones listed with a torpedo bomber, which I'm surprised the Japanese didn't have that. Um, so these are really cheap um, units. There are 10 points each, but they're also from 1936 in the book. So they only move 10 inches at a time. They have some good dice rolls and really bad dog fighting. So special rules. They have VT fuses, so that's just like the Americans. Um, so the name which was delivered camouflage for its operating principle used a small radar inside the shell. This made VP guns very effective against aircraft. So after 1943, so their only special rule kicks in if you're playing a game after 1943. Instead of using their DP guns, which can be dual purpose for shooting other ships or shooting at aircraft, if they're allocating dice to shoot at aircraft, you get all your attack dice instead of half. Otherwise, that's it for the British. Thanks for tuning in. Catch the other content.